Okay, so this is chapter two, test review for sections two, one through two, three. And I'm gonna do half the review today and half the review tomorrow. So for the first section, two dash one, you will have some numbers that you're gonna to have to tell me which one is greater or less or if they're equal. So in number one, which one is greater than, less than, or is it equal? Uh, negative eight. Negative eight is what? Greater. Good. Negative eight is greater. And what about number two? Zero is what? Greater. How about three? Nine is. And. Ah, y is five to the right greater. Excellent. So first I have to get rid of those absolute value bars on this one. And the absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5, and then that becomes the greater number. Nice job. The next section will be putting numbers in order from least to greatest. So we're going to start with the most negative number and work our way to the most positive number. So what would go first? Negative 52 is the most negative. What else? Yeah. Negative two. Good. Mm -hmm. And 115. Good job. Ah. Okay, and then we're going to put those little solution set bars on the outside. If you can't draw them, just draw squiggly lines. Um, so that is in order from least to greatest. And notice how as I wrote each number, I kind of crossed it off, which is a good strategy so you don't forget one or use one twice. So for the next problems, you're going to have to tell me the absolute value or use absolute value to solve the problem. So for number six, we just have a very plain absolute value problem. What is the absolute value of negative 10? Positive 10. So that's it. Absolute value tells us how far a number is from zero. So basically, you just take the negative off. Now number seven, before I add or subtract, what do I have to do? Yes, what is the absolute value? So the absolute value of negative four is positive four, but because I had this negative sign, I have to bring that down and it's still subtraction. So then 10 minus 4 is? Yes. Now 8 and 9 are a little bit different because the whole problem is inside of the absolute value bars. So when the whole problem's inside, they kind of act like parentheses and you have to do the inside part first. So on number 8, what is 5 minus 3? 2. Two. But I'm going to leave the bars on because I technically haven't used them yet. And then the absolute value of 2 is 2. two. Uh oh, hold on. 10 stopped working. 2, good. And so how about number 9? First I have to do what's inside. 4 minus 10? Negative 6. So then the answer would be a positive 6. Okay, so now we're adding integers, section 2-2. And what are our rules for adding integers? If the signs are the same, you add the two numbers. The answer keeps the sign, keeps the sign. And if the signs are different, you subtract. The answer then takes the sign of the bigger number. So number 10, are my signs the same or different? Same, so I'm going to add 4 plus 1 is 5, and the answer keeps the sign, which is what? Negative. Negative. Okay. Uh, Almost. Negative. Okay. So on number 11, my signs are the same again. I have a negative and a negative. So I'm going to add the numbers, which is 7. Answer keeps the sign. 
So negative 7. How about number 12? 66. Or 66. Negative 66. Negative 66. The signs are the same, so we add again. Answer keeps the sign. Negative 9. Okay, so on 13, the signs are different. So, no, signs are different, so we subtract. Negative 9. 15 wow. minus 6 is 9, but the answer takes the sign of the bigger number. I said negative. I know. You're right. Wow. So, the signs are different because the 15 has a negative and the 6 has a positive. So, the signs are different. I need to subtract. 15 minus 6 is 9, but then the bigger number, 15, has a negative on it, so... It's a negative answer. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. The next section, 2-3, is going to have the same rules as 2-2 because now we're subtracting integers and the rules still apply. If the signs are the same, you add. The answer keeps the sign. If the signs are different, you subtract and the answer takes the sign of the bigger number. So look at number 14. Are my signs the same or different? Different. I have a positive 3 and a negative 8. So I'm going to subtract. What's 8 minus 3? 5. 5. But the answer takes the sign of the bigger number, which is negative. negative. How about 15? Signs are the same or different? different. Same. Same. So they're both negative. So I'm going to add the numbers. 4 plus 8. 12. 12, but the answer keeps the negative sign. Good. <coughs> okay, there's a special rule in number 16. What is it? Go, hold on. Go ahead, Owen. I mean, like, there's like one negative and like another negative. If there's like three negatives, like, it's still going to be like, you're still going to get like. Okay, you're confusing with multiplication and division rules a little bit, I think. You're on the right track, though. Okay, Jeremiah. If there's two negatives next to each other, positive. Yes, two negatives right next to each other turn each other positive. Remember that? But it's still going to be minus 7 to 6 is negative. 16 is negative 9. Yeah. Okay, that's good. You're good at this, Jeremiah. So those two negatives in the middle just turned each other positive, but I still have a negative on the 16. So now my signs are different. I'm going to subtract. 16 minus 7 is 9, and the answer takes the sign of the bigger number. 16 is negative, so it's negative 9. So then you're on a brain break. So, what do I do in number 17 first? Holden. Yes, since they're right next to each other, make them both pluses. Good, so now my signs are the same. I add the answer keeps the sign, which is positive. Because 48 and 50 are positive, so the answer is going to be positive.